are ready. Fantastic. So uh, I'm excited to uh, have this meeting now because we just finished the Leader School event and I know everybody seems to be all excited about it. Mm -hmm. uh, they're super excited. How many people are excited about Leader School and what was happening there? Yes, I see all the hands up. Well, um, in, in this, uh, right now, I am in the United States, flew back here on, I think, Wednesday or Thursday. And now we have an event happening right here at this hotel where Art Jonak is here. So we're all uh, double high right now. But luckily, we are going to keep our Saturday meetings and we have a doozy of one uh, because events are super powerful and, and you get this energy from it. And there's somebody who has the energy, even if you don't talk to him about things, he already has that energy. And that's our guest speaker for today. So let's start him on here, our black crown. Hey there, Mr. Dave Ives. Hi, Dave. Hey, hey Carla, first of all, I didn't realize you just got back to the US. So you're transatlantic again. And uh, live events are going on everywhere. And of course, like you just said, the US has one as we speak. Um, and, and that's exciting that the world of Zinzino, where it's built the best, that is in front of people belly to belly. And that was starting to come out of a, I think, a coma of complacency for the last two years, where, as Randy says, it's time to move from the Zoom into the room. And, uh, and it, it is, and, and, you know, and it is, we have used Zoom for certain things and and it's most meetings are not going to be Zoomed anymore. We're not going to have a lot of Zooms going on. We know that. Uh, but right now, if we look at the people who are on here, there's a lot of people from many different countries. Uh, but we do need to move out and get a, a, you know, get active because there's something like you could not have done that leader school where you were Zooming it. There's no way you could have got that energy from the leader school. So tell me a little bit about what leader school. For somebody who's been in the industry for a while, this is actually one of your first biggest uh, events, Dave, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I was blessed, uh, Carla, uh, May of 2019, I, I went to the very, my very first leader's school. Uh, it was myself and Dave Morrell. We sat at the back of the room. We didn't understand all the coffee machines. We didn't understand uh, the low-key sort of um, uh, attitudes that people had. I mean, there was no rah, rah there, uh, but you sensed there was a authenticity of energy in the room. Uh, and so that was three years ago, but this time round, it was like people had been let loose. Uh, I mean, you know, it was like, okay, they, they, we came to hear the news, uh, but I think just as importantly, people came to come and become emotionally reconnected to what they have had had at arm's length. And you, you, know, you just said you couldn't have done it on Zoom. Well, you know, we could have done it on Zoom, but you then said you just wouldn't have got the energy. And there is no way, uh, I'm quite a descriptive person. Randy is most definitely a very eloquent uh, auditor, but there is no way you could describe what was in that room over the weekend. You just couldn't describe it. You had to, you could tell people it's fabulous. You could tell people it was life-changing. You could even use Randy Gage's word. It was seminal, but there's still nothing about uh, other than feeling it. And I know there's people on here that wanted to be there and weren't able to be there, but I know I do hope that you're all making your plans that you are not going to miss Globen because we're going to finish the year on a major, major high. Yeah, I think I, I agree. And so if people, you know, they, they need to realize the importance of getting to every event. I mean, I'm an event junkie. I travel to every event. So I make sure I get to, you know, every international event, uh, unless there's like a wedding or something going on in my family. But congratulations, uh, every, congratulations every to your son. Yes, thank you. Yes, he got married here Saturday. But uh, every event and I, I make sure I get to every U.S. event. I try to get to every Danish event. If there's a mastermind event, there it doesn't matter. I'm an event person because of all both both the knowledge that you get, but also that energy and you know the excitement 
and, and it's also there where you learn the newest things first, you know, so why wouldn't you want to make sure you be there and get that? So tell me, Dave, what were, I mean, like I said, you've been in direct sales before, but what were your takeaways? What were your greatest takeaways from this event? One, to see the people, you know, to see people visiting the, the event for the very first time and, it, and it exceeding their expectations. People like me who've been around a while, 15 years, but and been to, I've been to events that were 65,000 strong, been to events that were 20,000 strong. But when you walked into the room that last weekend, there was an air of expectation. There was an air of renewing. And, and I can tell you, not only the field and our external guest speaker, Randy Gage, but the corporate delivered way beyond my expectation after 15 years. And I think my biggest takeaway for me, Carl, I shared it with a group the other day was, it's the first company I've ever been involved with where I truly felt there was no disconnect between the field and corporate. To watch even our CEO running around serving, you know, seeing the financial director behind the book stand, to see uh, there was nothing too big or small that you could see the corporate staff and it wasn't, I mean, it was a long day, long days for them, four, four days, 18 hour days, but their smiles did not diminish. Their smiles didn't dilute. And you could tell they were, they were getting just as much from the event as the field was getting from the event. Mm -hmm. So I think corporate needed it just as much as the field. But for me, the field was reassured, um, reconnected that Zinzino hasn't even gone into the atmosphere yet and that's what's really exciting you know i think some of it you know i think that too like when we have our director calls on uh, monday one thing you notice is that the field is is on but the corporate is also on so they're on listening in and learning too so and they're excited about things and they know the people they know who we are different, you know, titles, and it really makes a difference when it's like one page or one, one team. And, you know, Oregon and Hilda are not just founders. They're building. They make sure they qualify for the director trips. They make sure they qualify for the campaigns. That's what's super exciting for everybody. So it really is a, a, a place where you get to meet them and you can, you know, meet the personnel. But makes a difference when you when you you know the stage is a great place to learn from you know to sit in the audience and take notes and put them on your uh smart device whichever way you choose to do it but i i've never come away more educated in the events i've ever been as many i've come away very motivated very inspired very but not only did i become away inspired this time there was just training after training after training after training and you know what they say you know iron sharpens iron so guess what the, the events are like the furnace and the the irons are all in the fire and you we've got to put our iron in the fire and by being present that's where we get molded that's where we we get we get softened we get softened up on the friday we get beaten up on the Saturday, we get loved on on the Sunday, and we get put together on the Sunday afternoon to go out for 90 days. Yeah, I mean, it's an emotional roller coaster from start to finish. And I, and I told people categorically, I was fortunate to attend the speaker school, uh, the first session, so around 12 midday. So 12 midday, 1, 8, 1 p.m., so a couple of hours in, we broke for a break and I just turned to uh, those are in, in my sort of peers and I said, I'm ready to go home. What Randy shared in two hours had energized me enough. I, I just needed to go home. Mm -hmm. But when I walked out of that room Sunday, I, I was drained. But it was an emotional positive drain that you go, I have been poured into I've poured into other people and I, I'm glad they're ending it now because I couldn't take it. You know, when you've had too much to eat and you go, I just can't eat anything. I don't care how wafer thin it is. I just would not be in a position to take on board any other thing. And Zinzino, you, we all know Zinzino, right? 
They've just launched the most transformational, look into the future, dry blood spot test. And it's so, hey, here it is. Um, here's the CEO of Vitas. And here's Dr. Colin. Here's some balloons. I mean, it was great. It was electrifying. But I, there was no over-promotion, you know, because it's good enough. <laughs> and they're the best at what they do. And uh, now we've got to take these, that what we learned last weekend and we're going to apply it for 90 days because we want to double, triple the numbers in global. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We're going to. But, you know, I, I think when you see where the company is going, you know, uh, because of the new things. I mean, this new test, it's another game changer for taking a look at the, you know, how your health is. I really love that. And, and, and actually this new flavor, now I have a grandson and he loves taking this balance shot, but that new flavor is going to be also a fun thing for kids. But to see the importance of it, you know, when Emily was talking about how important it is, you really it makes it makes such a difference. Yeah, I mean, it? whether you watched it online, but in that room, and you listen to Dr. Cole, you listen to Emily, you listen to the product development, you listen to Thomas Goodison, CEO of Vitas, you listen to our founders. That there is nothing, there is not one aspect of my sinew. There's not one gray atom of doubt that would question whether these. That yeah, we're in business, but these individuals want to impact the world. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And for the first time in my life, they've actually got the roadmap, the methodology, the products, the science, the, the validation, the independent support. I mean, I've never seen anything more equipped, more ready to now take that blue, uh, blueprint that's already been laid down and literally explode the numbers. And, and you get so much belief in it. So you know it's gonna explode now. I mean, you know, listening to Thomas talking about the testing, you know how accurate it is, you know how important it is, you know, you know, just how many molecules are in one drop of blood was crazy, you know? More than every grain of sand on the planet. That's just, you know, and how accurate it can be. So I, I just, I just wouldn't want to be the person who counted from that. every event. I just wouldn't. I just wouldn't want to be the person who counted that, Carla. I'm just going to take their word for it. <laughs> but yeah. you, you know, I see Sue Booth on here with her grandchild, and um, I'm sitting here with Tutti Fruity, and I, I've got to back up what uh, Colin said though. When they launched it, 35% of the room will probably tra transfer to their to the product because it tastes so good. And, I, and then he said afterwards, probably 50%. I, I got to say, we've got our children starting to take it now, but I'm taking more than I've ever taken because I take my regular oil and I can't not take a spoonful myself when I share the spoon with them. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm up, open my dosage just by default because I don't want to be left out with this thing. This thing, and, and best chilled. Make sure you it chilled. It is as smooth as anything. I mean... Marco Passanante is a connoisseur of wine. I'm a real connoisseur of the oil. I mean, this is this is best served, chilled from the fridge, and uh, just I mean, it's delectable, and it's and it's and it does leave you that bubble gum taste for multiple minutes afterwards. I love it. I love it. And what I think is kind of fun too is that uh, Thomas ended his speech with, you know, now we have three tests but there's coming more. So we know the future is coming up with new things. I mean, seriously, this is, this is huge. Yeah, I mean, there most definitely will be a test. Who knows what it is? You may do, Carla, I don't. Uh, um, Art will probably know, but all I know is when you sit there and you watch him release that long-term blo uh, long blood test, uh, I mean, I can't even remember the, the alphabet and the numbers in that equation of the test. I, I struggle to even mention the long-term blood test. But all I sit there and go, what else can they do to impress us? But when then you look at the, the, the corporate board, you look at 
the likes of Dr. Colin, you look at the likes of Emily, you go, what could they do to impress us? But the other side of the coin is, it won't surprise me that they'll surpass us. It's going to happen, like you said. And before, I think a lot of people in the last couple of years may have lost their way and um, because it's so remote and, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're hanging on. I, I will tell you, people may have, may have come into that live event last weekend and that, this may have been their first and they had no expectation. There may have been some going, this is my last unless they deliver something great. Yeah. I don't think anybody left there other than one decision, that they wish they had more people in the room hearing, seeing, feeling all those emotions that was explored that weekend. And, uh, you know, I've never been, since I've been with Zinzino, I've never been coming out of an event and had more people setting goals, more people already bought tickets for Globen, people realizing the hotels have sold out already. Uh, I mean, it, we've got to create the culture, or not the culture that we, it's already created, but we've got people to really accept it that, hey, once I come out of an event, I need to book my ticket immediately. I need to book my ticket immediately because if I don't, I'm not going to get VIP seating on the floor. If I don't, I'm not going to get the gift, which is worth more than the price of the ticket. If I don't, I'm not going to get a room near the ho- And I'm going to have to, I mean, the list goes on. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's exciting to see what's going to happen in Globen, but we've got 90 days of work to be done. A lot to be done. And, and you can even see now the tallying for the Top Gun Awards in the back office. So, you know, that's what's kind of fun about this business is they put all these different campaigns out there, but it's like a win-win, you know. Uh, you're growing your business. Yes, you can get your event ticket now and you can work on getting your team to the next event already now. But why not work to get one of those prizes too? Because it's going to grow your business. The, and I can almost guarantee you the people who probably get those prizes are going to hit the next titles. Wouldn't you say? I mean, Orion's laid down the gauntlet for every one of us. You know, last week it was make 10 appointments, go and put one new personal in ourselves in the, in the month of July, rank up one to two ranks or two ranks between last week and Globen. So if you're silver, get platinum done or a gold executive, if you're executive, you get uh, platinum diamond done. So rank, but when you buy a ticket, it shouldn't be the, the ethos of, I've got my ticket, I'm going. It should be, I've made my commitment. Now I want to get as much value out of that ticket. And the only way I'm going to get value out of that ticket is take as many people as I can who can learn from what's going to be provided. So when I come out of the globe, I'm going to have a major explosion. So you can have two 90-day bursts. You can have between now and globe building into it, and you're going to have 90 days coming out of it that you won't be able to control. But if your intention is, I have not decided yet, and some people do that because my finances, I want to share something with you. If you ever think about an event of whether I'll see if I can afford it, you're not treating it like a business. If you've got a mindset as I'll see how my business develops because I need my business to pay for my, my development, that's like me saying as a chef of Denny's, the equivalent of Denny's, going, you know what? I've bought the restaurant, but I'm not going to buy food until someone sits down and orders. There is no logic in that thinking other than broke thinking. Uh And so we've got to get that entrepreneurial, okay, it's an investment. It's not a cost. How do I get my return on my, hey, folks, if you haven't can't afford a ticket in its entirety, use a Klarna, spread the payments. If you've got someone brand new, if Carlos start me right now and I can't afford to get started with my ultimate, which is the best way, or commit to an event, well, then show me how I can spread the, uh, spread the payments and then then say, hey, good day. We maximize the next 30, 60 days and your fast starts, your enrollment bonus. You're going to make over $1,000 to by time your second payment's due. You can get people engaging faster when they commit faster. 
So don't apologize for the cost of the investment, be the solution to their problem to show them there's ways they can recuperate very quickly. I think we should have that couple of sentences on a little video and send it to people so that they can remind themselves of that mindset. And I think that's one of the things that you learn in every event is that upgrading your mindset. Because that mindset you just said now, that's something you've learned along the way, Dave, right? Well, it, most definitely, because, you know, as you as you attend things, whether it be major conventions like that or Super Saturdays that you're doing there right now, a bit like we have in the United Kingdom, July the 30th for all UK partners, go to Eventbrite and get your ticket, 20 pounds to have a five hour uh, nuts and bolts training. But the thing is, I sat there last week, Carla, and I, and, I, and I don't really say things like this, but, you know, most, most of you who know of me will think I'm quite a high, po high positive individual. You can't sit in front of Randy Gage and don't think you've got stinking thinking. <laughs> right? You, you just can't do it. You just, and okay, well, Dave, he's been in for 43 years. Yeah, but that's the, that's the product of 43 years development. Mm -hmm. And by the way, let me do this for all of you. Write this down. You've heard this probably over and over again, but if you have, forgive me. If you haven't, this is for you. And it's for those who have heard it over and over again, but may have not taken action upon it. You can go to Randy Gage and you can download his Making the First Circle Work in a PDF. Before your head hits the pillow tonight, go read the, his section on why you should attend events. He lists five reasons. And if you can not agree with those five questions, then you probably won't be willing to commit to Globally. But if you give them all a big tick, you've just answered yourself why you need to be there. So the next question is, don't hesitate in committing, find a solution on how to commit as soon as possible. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, the, and, and, you know, almost in everything, it's about learning. It's about upgrading your brain. And that's exactly why every event counts. Yeah, you never, you never arrive. That's the great thing, right? Uh -huh. You know, we get, we come from a conventional system. We, we, we go through the high school structure. We go to the university structure. We, uh, we have those several weeks of pressure towards the end of a four-year degree to see how much we really could regurgitate and remember so we can get a grade. Uh, and beyond that point, most of us will then take that degree and sell ourselves for a position in a corporate structure, which is nothing wrong with that. But in the first four or five years of that structure, we're progressing through, you know, entry, middle management, maybe um, uh, high-tier management. But somewhere along the line, we reach a limit and we stop learning. So many of us, when we join entrepreneurship out from the corporate world, we haven't learned anything new in years. Amount of people that will say to me, well, Carl, you don't understand. I've been an engineer for 25 years. I've got 25 years experience. But, well, really, Dave, you haven't. You've learned for five years. You got a position and you've done, just done it four times over. The length of time you've been doing it is 25 years, but you probably haven't grown in 20 years of your knowledge. Mm -hmm. and so when we come into this industry and we go to an event and we sit there with our arms crossed, and I've sat with my arms crossed that many a times, and going, what else can they teach me? And it's funny to watch the body language relax and go, oh, okay, that was a good point, Carla made from stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm going to use that one. Oh, yeah, I like that. And all of a sudden, then we become great ambassadors in our own market. Because you can say, I went to the convention last week and I heard Carla from stage say, hey, the next time you'll say, you know, I went to an event once and I heard a speaker from the stage say, hey. And then several weeks later, when your confidence has grown, you go, you know what? I've always said, you can borrow everything from every speaker on stage and make yourself look better than what you are until you've grown into the person that's awaiting you to become. Mm. That was powerful too, Dave. I love that. And I think, you know, people are going to, they can, you know, kind of have any dream that they want and the potential of what you can accomplish, 
in Zenzino, and it hasn't even gotten started, has it? But I mean, I, I don't know how you put. I don't know how you quantify the potential of Zenzino anymore. Yeah. I, I don't know how you quantify it, other than the lives we're going to impact. I mean, it's not tens of thousands. It's not hundreds of thousands. It will be millions. When you look at that growth cu curve over the next 10, 15, 20, 30 years, uh, I mean, 100 million is more than doable. Yeah. It's more than doable. The world needs what we have from a health perspective. The woke is broke economically, and we have what it needs for building our future prosperity. It's the only thing I've ever seen this industry, not just in Zena, but this industry that really creates legacy wealth. Mm -hmm. But right legacy now, wealth. Oh, we should have that on the underneath here. Legacy wealth. You know, there, there's there's things that now we now. I mean, I'm a man of faith. You know that. And I'll tell you what, this weekend, things were seen that can never be unseen. Mm -hmm. You can't ignore what's about to happen. Now, there's people in the, the industry watching Zinzino, but there's people in Zinzino watching Zinzino. You haven't got time to sit and watch. But, you know, and even what, like, Randy Gage said in, in one of his speeches, he said, you know, yeah, look at the numbers. And, and yes, you've got uh, 97 percent of the population who need it, 99 percent of it, but even the last one, two, three percent, they're the ones who know about health. They got it too. So actually, we're at a hundred percent of the population that really are going to want to know about what we have in Zenzino. That's exciting. But you think about everybody, please think about this. Think about we are part of a company who are bringing the best of the best technology and advancements and tools and products and tests that's in the industry, not only do they bring it to us, they give us a simple message of how to message it. And yet we all try to be the sophisticated, clever people. Hey, Carla, let me ask you a question. Is health important to you? Yeah. Okay, so let me ask you a question. If there was a way that you and I could take a test that could take a look into your future to help you prevent anything unforeseen that cannot be, uh, you don't, you can't understand or detect right now, would you be open to watching a, few, a, a short video? Who wouldn't? Of course. I, I didn't, I didn't mention pre-diabetes. I didn't mean, I didn't talk about preventive. I think we complicate it. The more, the more they bring us, the more we get so excited about it that we want to tell everybody about it rather than getting these incredible new tools in front of people. Let the tool do the work. Yeah. And they're so professional. Oh. I love that new video. I'm sitting here watching the new balance or concept going, I'm in this, I think. I think I'm in this company. I mean, how they've taken that two, three minute bit video and they've extrapolated it and simplified the message. I mean, like, hey, if I'm sharing it with Guy and Guy says, well, you know, after watching that, I'm not interested in my own health. There's nothing I can do, mm -mm. right? I'm not that skilled. Because if you ever have to get into a debate with the professionalism of what we got our hands on and the, the equipment and the tools that do the work for us, none of us are that good. And even if I convince Guy to get started, I will not be able to, Guy will not be able to duplicate Dave Ives' persuasive characteristics. Mm -hmm. But if Guy gets infused by watching a third party tool and goes, wow, and, and can't control himself that he wants to share that quickly with his in-laws, his family, his, his grandkids or whatever he may have as, and go because he's that moved by that, guess what? It's gonna go viral before you even have time to get back with Guy. Right, and everybody can do it. Everybody can send a third party tool and they're the same for you as they are for me. And there doesn't matter what country you're in, where you're coming from, what your background is. Everybody can send that third party tool and it's professional, informative and simple. It's, I mean, you can't add, you can't add anything to that, Carla, other than the question now is how often are you going to get the tools in front of people? Mm hmm.
Are you going to up your activity? Are you going to uh, find a, a, a running buddy? Are you going to hold accountability? Are you going to start some coaching calls? Are you going to have a weekly check-in? Are you going to are you going to now raise your personal bar for the next ninety days? Okay, so Dave, let's go to um, let's say somebody is at home and they're watching this and they did not see the leader school. Uh, what would you suggest for them to do? They want to, they want to build the business. What would, would you suggest that everybody go in and watch that? Even if it's from home, go buy a ticket, watch a replay. You still got time to do it. Go buy a ticket, watch the replay. Okay. So how about the people that were watching leader school and now they want to get started and they're not quite sure what to do. What would you say to them? Relaunch. Relaunch. We've had several of those this week that, that I've just reached out to them and uh, said, we sorry we missed you there. And uh, I, I, and I, th I'm a leading question. I know the answer. When you ask questions, you generally know answers. So, hey, Carla, I, uh, um, I, you know, the, the weekend was incredible. Did you catch any of it online? I'm seeing if they bought their ticket. Uh, mm -hmm. No, no, uh, I, I had a prior arrangement and uh, I went, boy, whatever you need to do, you, you, you know that the, the new products that were launched, uh, the new announcements of the new tech? Uh, no. Uh, the first thing you need to do is go to zenzino.tv and go to page two and start working your way back. They're, they're uploading them right now. But to get a sense of how it's been delivered, you, you want to go in your back office, in the United Kingdom, I think it's 85 pounds for, um, and you can watch it over and over again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's certain ones I know for sure I'm going to be watching again. I mean, I mean, the, the, just everything. I mean, from start to finish, I'll guarantee you, even those who are in the room can go and watch the replay and they'll go, I, I missed that. Mm -hmm. Because they were just hitting us from everywhere, right? And you've got the emotions around us and uh, it's just impossible to take it all in. And so Absolutely. if those who were there, you can watch a replay for free, right? That's part of the ticket deal. So don't even, you know, for the next Globin, go and get a ticket because you're going to have the physical and the replay, and you can watch it as much as you want. I mean, then you're going to get over 400 euros worth of skincare. When you really under, we'll, we'll go watch the Rolling Stones who hit 60 for some reason, but we won't go and build our prosperity for for a fraction of the cost. Well, you don't understand, don't you? it's the Rolling Stones. I don't care that we're talking about generational wealth. Okay, so let's, let's find out. Okay, so it doesn't matter now, everybody, including those who just came back from the leader school and some people, they get back and they're excited. And then, you know, there's a, there's a period of time where that feeling starts to wear off a little bit and they start to doubt some things or they're, they're, they're not feeling that same energy. And then it might be a little bit tougher. They don't know what to do. What would you say to them? Yeah, you got to stay near the fire, right? you got to find someone who's got, who's got it going on. You know, someone who, you know, you get around them and they just, they electrify you because, but here's the other thing. I read an interesting quote yesterday. So don't take it out of contents. Wasn't my quote, but think about this. Someone asked uh, Elon Musk, uh, what do you say to encourage an entrepreneur? His response was, if I have to encourage an entrepreneur, they're not an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. If you have to be motivated after last weekend within a few days, Carla, I don't know the answer. <laughs> Seriously, I don't yeah. know the answer. Because yeah. if you moved over that period of time and you are stuck and you can't take action. Now, what's action? Well, you know, Carla, I really don't know what to do, but I am ready more than I've ever, I cannot believe, a great, let's get back to your getting started training. Let's start you again. Let's get you going through the, uh, you know, the fast starts so or you can't earn the fast start bonuses because your time's expired, but let's go and get your four subscriptions. Let's go and get your A and B. Let's go and let's get you back into, ready for this, write this down. I learned this from a mentor today. You have to discover your building brick. When you understand what your building brick is, 
then you know how to build your house. You'll know how to build your town. You'll know how to build your city. You know how to build your state. You'll know how to build the United States of America. The, you have to learn how to build your building brick. Think about this. In my three years, all I've ever been taught is 4410. 4410. 4410. 4410. So if I want to go from zero to diamond, I need to go 4410 or one plus two with ultimates and four subscriptions. There's the brick. Great. How many bricks do I need in my right? How many bricks do I need in my left to hit platinum? How many bricks do I need to hit diamond? How many bricks do I? We've we guess what? Hello. We've had the brick for eight or nine years. But it's yeah. But it's events like last weekend that sometimes the penny drops about the brick that we already had. Yeah. And people can always restart. That's one of the things. It doesn't matter when, how. Everybody can always have that restart. You can always go and do a startup meeting for yourself again. Grab your upline, start over the start working on the 4410 starting today well, if, if, you, if you if you find yourself in that position where you haven't been active prior to the event or you're after the event you, you whether online or offline and it's and it's actually ignited you again then guess what wake your sponsor up whether if they're active fantastic if they're inactive ring your sponsor anyway ring them at 4 a.m because your because your sponsors wanted to work with you for years anyway, and if they've if they've already left, then keep ringing upline. You will find someone who will uh, take you under their wing because they want people to work with anyway. If you're ready to go, doesn't mean you know what to do. Doesn't mean you may you need a refresher. Maybe you, you there's some jeopardation. That's fine. We can take the energy. We can start the process and we can educate, we can equip and we can empower you because this has never been a time that you want to hesitate about making that decision to get going. And actually, I remember Hilda saying, you know, some people are like, you know, you go to a event to get motivated and then you're going to take action. But if you are at home and you have been following things and you want to get started, a lot of times it's the action that creates the, the emotion. So it's not the motion, you know, it's not emotion that creates the motion. When you get going, when the action is there, you start getting the action, you get the results. Makes sense. So it's actually the motion that's creating that emotion. Every so time. So getting going. Every time. Here's, here's a line I learned many years ago. And as I left an, an event and a convention like that, and like I said, I've been to many uh, in my 15 years, 20,000 strong. My very first one was 65,000 in, the, uh, in a, a stadium in Indianapolis, North America. And they, they, used, to they, they used to close with a, a, you know, a, a real upbeat, emotional, uh, pulling on the heartstrings and and the big scream would come up and this is powerful and I was thinking about this only as I sat there as Orion closed out as an incredible speech about you know developing the giant within and the greatness within but in my previous first company they after an event like that they will close out with and some of you are going diamond and some of you are just going home don't just go home. Don't just go home. Mm -hmm. Take that energy. Take that, the, the companies pouring into the field like I've never seen. There is no question of doubt about the company. There's no question of doubt the pillar of the company, the, the pillar of the product, the pillar of your team, the pillar of support, the pillar of you may be the question. Your competence, your confidence, your belief. And that's why the fourth call to action by Orion was about you 
touching you each day with a book, with an audio, with something that builds you so you can maximize the other four pillars that are waiting for you. And you already have, because that was my talk, you already have you in you. But you now have to do the personal growth to reveal you to maximize this life-changing vehicle called Zenzino. Mic drop. <laughs> I think that is where we should finish this off because all of you here have every thing in you just keep learning and so that you can reveal you love that dave and uh, if you haven't heard his speech go back and listen to that again there's just got so many golden nuggets all the way through and then make sure you have your ticket for the next event we gotta all meet in globin and dave wouldn't you say we're gonna at least double it at least well the hotel sold out right now so yeah you know so the tickets are uh, and July's, but there is nobody that's in Zinzino should not have their ticket by the end of July if they're a smart entrepreneur because they're going to get more in product than the cost of their ticket. If you've got your ticket, you've got a responsibility to at least make sure everyone in your organization is aware of that campaign. Don't ever have anyone that's existing right now, dormant, active, that you don't don't be embarrassed hey jimmy how you doing buddy i know it's been a, what 18 months since we last spoke but if we just kicked off some live events uh the company's just acquired a company and in globin they're actually launching a new skincare range which is they're going to give every person in attendance who have purchased a ticket in the month of july more in product than it cost them to go there i don't know where you are right now jimmy but if things are changing your life and you want to revisit circle back touch base explore further uh and see what we're how things have developed or uh, have the opportunity to have a coffee and catch up with you uh, i think we need to do it sooner rather than later exactly i brought it up there my friend when it was, re was released so you know you there's time it, it, i mean it's time and I, I applaud everybody on that stage, the recognitions, but boy, they're not, they're, sooner or later, Zinzino's not gonna have a stage big enough to recognize diamonds, crowns, ambassadors. And there will be hundreds of presidents in the next five, 10 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so bless if you everyone. don't feel that energy now after this call, there's something wrong. We need to take your temperature. Let's take our test and find out what's wrong because exciting things are going on in Zenzino all over. There it is. There's Dave. Tutti Fruity. Amen. Tutti Fruity it is. Wonderful. There's a test. Jimmy's got a test right there too. That's exciting. Mm. Bubble gum. <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> God bless okay. everyone. Thank you, everybody. We are loving everybody. Make sure you get your ticket and we will see you next week. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>